Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a TDS tier list um, going from required, useful, amazing, great, middle, decent, usable, unusable, and I don't own. So first I'll clear off the towers that I don't own. Now that's out of the way, uh, I'll do easy ones like commander, definitely required, and uh, for DJ also required because they're the best support towers ever. I'm going to start off with turret, uh, so turret, about turret, it got recently buffed, uh, you can unlock this at level 50, it's really expensive, it has a limit. And uh, its DPS at max goes in insanely crazy. This is definitely a mid and late game. Early game is just no. Would turret be useful? Um, maybe not a lot, but some time to time in future events or other up uh, stuff that TDS will add. But I'll put it at amazing just because uh, its DPS is pretty good. Freezer. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Freezer is not usable. It's unusable. It's, bro, this, the, the freezing time is too short. The damage just lacks a lot. Just, no, unusable. Like, give my guy the freaking rework, because it's been one year! Okay, for Hunter. Hunter, um, it's decent. It got recently buffed. Um, it's, it's, okay, at max, it's better than its old self, because uh, its old self was doing 13 DPS at max. Now it's doing 22 DPS at max. So this is pretty decent. Now for Soldier, um... I think I know Max Soldier does 19 DPS, I think, and uh, Hunter does 22. Though, I think Soldier is better to take out a hordes of enemies while Hunter doesn't. Okay, okay, I decided to double check again, uh, the both of them. Uh, while well, Soldier, Soldier does do less DPS than Hunter, um, its upgrades are really cheaper, while Hunter does do more DPS, but its upgrades are a little more pricey than Soldier's upgrades. They are, like, so equal, I'll be honest. Uh, they both get hidden detection at level 2. Uh, they, they are really cheap at freaking early and mid. Uh, you can unlock, okay, Hunter, you can unlock the shop for 850 coins, while Soldier, you can unlock the shop for 350 coins, so I suggest you getting Soldier and then Hunter. Uh, Ranger, okay, so Ranger... Ranger is not bad. It's a cliff unit. Uh, it has a limit of something that I don't know. Uh, maybe 10, but I'm not sure. Its DPS at max is pretty great. It doesn't have any hidden detection, so that kind of sucks. It's really expensive to unlock at the shop. It's 8,500 coins. Ranger can be a really good tower if a uh, if, uh, map has really good cliff space, then yes. Uh, set, this, uh, set it to strongest because that'll be really... Because the damage is really OP. Um, not saying the DPS, but the damage. Damage is OP to um against some um, uh, zombies that have like a lot of health. The mini gunner is absolutely great. Um, really great early, mid, late, maybe. The accelerator. Um, it's not so required. Like you don't really need it so much, but like it is useful in like so much uh situations like pullet wasteland, badlands, uh, etc. Crook boss. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I guess it's middle. It's it has a limit of four. It's um it has bodyguards. Uh, its CPS isn't so bad, and you can unlock this at level thirty. Okay, now the shotgunner, really underrated tower, really underrated. Um, however, its its range is really short, but its damage is so good. It has a uh, pierce, if that's what it's called, or spread. I'm not sure. It's really good for a beginner beginner player that is starting to play TDS. By the way, I forgot to record um farm. Sorry. Um yeah, farm is really good economy tower military base. Um, uh, it's okay. Um, um, the ram damage is pretty cool, but like, uh, it's not so needed. Uh, the spawn rate it's too slow, so you can't really rely on military base too much. And it has like a five limit. But uh, anyways, rocketeer. Rocketeer was buffed. Um, so much times, not so much, but, like, a few times, like, so I think this is, like, decent, it's decent, the damage is really good, the fire rate's really slow, it could take out quite a crowd of enemies, but it has, like, a red range, so, you know, danger zone, and, uh, it has a limit of 8, but still pretty decent, now we got the ace pilot, I think it's already good, as it is, like, it's really good at early hardcore and stuff, other stuff, it's really good. Uh, Electro Shocker. Um, this is like a support. It has a limit of four and does not have any hidden detection. It is three thousand to unlock at, at the sh uh, shop. It's it's a it's a great support. I mean, it's better than its old self. This is like either low middle or high decent or no, kind of like mid decent. Uh, I guess this could be better than Hunter. I guess 
because uh, Electroshocker is doing more DPS than Hunter at max, though um, Electroshocker's prices are expensive, but it does stun at enemies, so. But then, like, you guys can give out your opinions and, like, agree or disagree with what I say and stuff. Anyways, with Warden, um, I was I was surprised that it did more DPS at max than Gladiator. Though, here's the thing, Warden is single target while Gladiator, Gladiator is, the, is doing multi-target. So, uh, I mean, if you get six Wardens, then, like, you're all good, because it just becomes a multi-target Warden instead of single target. You know, now that I think of it, I think Rangers should go here, because it, because of its max, max DPS is pretty good. Now, for the Warden, it could be, like, it could be high great or below amazing, like, below Ranger or above Ranger, but I'm, I'm not sure, because they're both not good at taking crowds of units. Or enemy. Now we got the cowboy. Uh, what the the income was nerfed. Um, oh, that kind of hurts for um pro players. Uh, damn, bro. Well, that's that's an L. <laughs> All right, we got glider, a speed running unit, tower. My gosh, I keep thinking of world tower defense. Okay, uh, glider is good, it's a great speed running, speed running tower. Uh, doesn't do more DPS than warden. However, uh, its range ability is pretty great. Uh, it's it's short range like like warden. It's multi-target, so it can, like, kill m multiple enemies at once, while Warden only takes out one. Uh, they're, like, they're, s they're, like, equally good in their own ways. This could be below Warden or above Warden, though Warden does do more DPS, but it's single target. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. When it comes to two towers that are equally good, then, like, I just won't even know which one's even better or not. But uh, Commando, Commando is usable, but like, uh, not new TDS players own this, so only OGs do, but Mordor. So Mordor has a cluster bomb. It's buffed really well. It's better than its old self. Um, it has a limit of 4. It has a really slow fire rate, but its splash damage is really good. Uh, so that means it's great against, uh, against a crowd of enemies. This could go above Cowboy, but uh, I don't know if it goes above Shotgunner, because like, slow fire rate and limit okay the medic okay um the dps is not so great the ability though it does heal okay okay this is useful okay because um let's say you're playing a uh, event right and then you're going up against the event boss and it also has like these weird abilities and crap you know uh it stuns your towers Yo, know, medic can help you with that so this is pretty useful the pursuit um i think his hidden interaction got removed. I, I don't know if I would either put this below Ace Pilot or above Ace Pilot. Because Ace Pilot does do more DP. No, wait. No, no. I need to double check. Pursuit does not have hidden detection. It targets one single enemy once. Well, it locks on into a, an enemy. Uh, it does 169 DPS. Um, while Ace Pilot um, is doing a 163 DPS, but its upgrades are way more cheaper than Pursuit's upgrades. Uh, as Pursuit's upgrades are expensive as hell uh yeah i don't know which one is good golden crook boss um it's good it's like it's it, it's like it's like it's just the same thing as normal crook boss just a little more dps now uh well way more more dps uh it's pretty good like the tommy gun it when it gets the tommy gun then like it goes crazy i don't know if it's better than warden and gladiator but I'll put it there. No, 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 maybe, maybe below Gladiator, but not below Warden. This ledger, um, it has, like, this, like, ice stun. I don't know if it's better than Glider or Crook, Golden Crook Boss or Warden, but... I don't know, damage? Damage is, like, 50. It's pretty good. I'll just put it above Gladiator, okay? I don't know, man. Executioner, um, well, it has a limit of 8. Uh, its hitting detection is very expensive. Uh, its upgrades are also expensive. Its DPS at max is 39, so basically, like, sl Sledger. Uh, it's a crowd control tower. Um, I don't know if it's really good or not. I don't think it's really that good. I'm gonna be honest. It's, it's okay, but it's just a bit too expensive. I'll put it like maybe above that there. Above Electroshocker and Hunter. Pyromancer is good for early and mid. Uh, it lowers enemies that have a shield on them. It lowers a uh, enemy shield by 50% or 25% maybe. Uh, this is like middle. All right, Toxic Gunner. Um, Toxic Gunner is pretty cheap. It doesn't have hit any hidden detection. Uh, don't rely on a DPS, uh, but you can rely on the slowness, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the slowness is useful or not, but I don't know. I have not used Toxic Gunner for a while, so I'm not sure. 
The Militant, okay. Um, at max is doing 44 DBS. It is a little bit pricey, um, but the fire rate is pretty quick. This is like mini gunner, but like just a little worse or a little weaker. I mean, Militant's all right for like early, mid, late. The Scout, okay, well, a Scout is usable because um, it does damage and actually um, has a really good fire rate and range. Unlike Freezer, <laughs> who does zero damage at level zero or level one. Sniper, sniper, you can't really rely on too much uh, during mid game, I guess, um, because uh, it will struggle with hordes of enemies. Though its its damage does do a lot, but its DPS just lacks a lot. Paintballer, garbage, G absolutely garbage. It's doing nine DPS at max for seven thousand, while Scout is uh, max upgrade is three thousand and does nine also. Scout is better. The last tower, Demo Man. Okay, Demo Man is a splash tower, so it can take out hordes of enemies. It doesn't have any detection. Uh, its upgrades are cheap, and uh, its DPS is at max does around 23, 24 DPS. And uh, let's see, fire rate is slow, but pro progressively goes faster. I will double check my tier list to see if it's good or not. It's probably will go above uh, Pursuit just because. Uh, Pursuit does not have hitting hitting detection, and uh, it targets uh locks on on one enemy, while Ace Pilot just um goes crazy around in circles and circles, and then just goes absolutely crazy shooting with its rockets too. So, I think Ace Pilot is much better in Pursuit. Turret can go also below Ace Pilot. It's I don't know because like Turret it has it's it has a five limit, so it's, I think it takes up too much space. I still don't know that. And it's also like very pricey. It's way more expensive than uh, Ace Pilot. I guess I could bring Warden up because uh, Warden it does stun enemies. It's short. It's a short range. Going Crook. Um, I don't know. Bodyguards do spawn really slow, so maybe you can rely on Warden. Or I could just switch it back to its normal spot. I don't even know. Golden Crook boss, you can have four of them. I mean, I can bring Shotgunner below Mordar because uh, Shotgunner has a really short range. It can pierce through enemies, so it can, you know, get a lot of enemies. But Mordar does a much better job with uh, hordes of enemies, even though its fire rate is really slow, but it has a really huge range. Military base can go below Militant because Militant's, Militant's pretty great. Uh, military base, um, its spawn rate is quite slow, so you might die. Pyromancer got recently buffed, so uh, it's much more more DPS than the Soldier now, even though the Soldier has cheaper upgrades, while Pyromancer, on the other hand, doesn't. Oh, I forgot to switch this. Uh, whoops. Uh, Hunter does do two, 20, like 22 or 23, 24 DPS, and Sniper does like 13. So Hunter will go above Sniper. I feel like Demo and Toxic Gunner, they have like some like similar like upgrade prices and other stuff. But like I think Demo is much better because its upgrades are a little bit cheaper than uh, Toxic Gunner's. Even though Toxic Gunner does do one more DPS than the Demo Man, like, so Demo Man has 23 DPS and Toxic Gunner has 24 DPS. Toxic Gunner slows down enemies. Demo Man uh, is a splash tower, so it can take care of hordes of enemies. So I think Demo Man is much better. All right, that's the end of this tier list. Yeah, you guys can share your opinions. You can agree or disagree with what I say or anything. Uh, I won't complain if I'll try not to complain.